Irish singer Sinead O'Connor was best known for her standout hit Nothing Compares to You, but she was also instantly recognisable thanks to her signature look. From the moment she rose to fame in the late 80s, the 56-year-old, whose family announced that she had died on Wednesday evening, sported a shaven head, which was very rare for women in showbiz. Some might have believed it was a trademark fashion statement, but Sinead eventually revealed a number of heartbreaking reasons why she preferred the cropped style. The star first shaved her head at the age of 20 as her way of projecting a more androgynous look as producers wanted her to look feminine, but she later divulged some dark reasons for the cut. In an emotional interview with TV psychologist Dr. Phil, she revealed that she remained bald because she didn't want to be viewed as pretty and she feared that if she was seen in that light, that she could be subjected to danger at the hands of men. In the 2017 talk, Sinead explained, My sister had the most beautiful red hair, glorious red hair, the type you'd be jealous of, but my mother took it into her head that my sister's hair was ugly and horrible and disgusting, and she started when I had long hair, she would introduce us as her pretty daughter and her ugly daughter, and that's why I cut my hair off. I didn't want to be pretty. She continued, It was dangerous to be pretty because I was getting raped and molested everywhere I went. That was a huge part of it. I didn't want to be raped or molested. I didn't want to dress like a girl. I didn't want to be pretty. Other girls beat you up if you were pretty too. The singer, who released 10 studio albums, also wished to keep an androgynous image as she was in the limelight so as not to distract from her talent. She added, I was asked one day would I grow my hair long and wear short skirts because they wanted to sell me on my sexuality. I didn't want to be sold on that. If I was going to be successful, I wanted it to be because I was a good musician. At a time when she began to grow her hair back, she shaved it off again as she was compared to singer Enya. The style became part of her identity, with her saying, I don't feel like me unless I have my hair shaved, so even when I'm an old lady, I'm going to have it. Later in life, after she converted to Islam in 2018, Sinead wore a headdress to cover her hair to protect her modesty. In the last photos taken of Sinead before her death, she was captured at the RTE Choice Music Prize in Dublin in March, where she wore a monochrome headscarf. The music icon's death was confirmed in a statement by her family yesterday evening, with an outpouring of kind tributes immediately following. The singer's family said, it is with great sadness that we announce the passing of our beloved Sinead. Her family and friends are devastated and have requested privacy at this very difficult time. The Irish singer is survived by three children. Her son Shane passed away last year at the age of 17.